everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and I was just getting ready to put some um, pictures or take some pictures and I thought I'd do another video on this. And I've already done a couple of videos so um, anyway I just thought I'd show you really quick. This is the Hanging With My Peeps shadow box and the supplies that you'll get or the files that you'll get is you have three of these little bunny tails. And then you'll have three of the bunnies. Here is your printable. And then here is the box card. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this box card together again. We're gonna fold everything up on the score lines. So you have four score lines right there. And we're going to just score everything or fold everything into the top. Now, I did the perforation lines. I know some people like the score lines, especially if you're using a Cricut Maker. But I really like the perforation lines when I do it. So, that's all you're going to do is just keep folding these. And you'll notice that you have two sides that have angles on them and two sides that do not. And that's important. I think there are so many fun things that you could do with these little shadow boxes. So many things. Okay, now we're gonna flip it over so that all the folds point down to the table. And we're gonna put tape on these edge pieces right here. And I'm actually going to get my big old ATG gun. You could use a tape runner or anything that you have. You do want to make sure you get edge to edge. These go together so quick and easy. So if you're looking for a quick project, this is the one to do it. Okay, we're going to turn it back over. And I'm going to start with my angled edges. And you're just going to take this tape line right here and fold it all the way over next to the score line. And then lay it down flat. And I just actually lay it and squish it like that. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's what it looks like. Oops, let me show you right there. That's kind of what it looks like. Okay, so then we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to just lay it down. Press it really good and then pop it up so that you have your two edges. You see that? Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on this side, except for when we're going to, excuse me, when we fold it over, we're going to tuck the corners into these edges that are angled. And that's why those two edges are angled like that. And it's, it's not tricky, but you do want to get, get it in there. It's going to pop open just a little bit, but we're going to fix that so it's okay. Do that again. Okay. Then once you get them pretty much the way that they're supposed to go, you're going to take some glue and we're going to just glue that right in there. So I'm going to take my glue and just put a little bit of glue right there in the corner. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then I'm just going to push that in there and hold it for just a couple of minutes. Not minutes, sorry, a couple of seconds just to get a good... And of course it will depend on your glue, what kind of glue you're using. Um, I'm just using my Scotch Tacky Glue. That's the one that I use for almost all my projects. Again, just... These little boxes come in two different sizes. Um, this is the 4x5, the larger one, and then I have some that are 3x4. 
And then the printables, we have some that are landscape and some that are printable, or excuse me, portrait. So they run in both different directions. Okay, and you'll just notice once I start getting these corners glued that they just hold up really well. Um, I did these because I thought it would be fun to have something for my trays that I do, you know, the little holiday trays or seasonal trays that you put all your little decorations on. And as I was looking for some things to put on them, everything was these wood, which is fine. I love wood. I've done wood. I've taught classes with wood. But sometimes you just want something that's quick and fast and easy. Um, you don't have to wait for the paint to dry on these. And then you can, there you store, they're a lot easier to store for the next holiday, or you can just simply toss it in the garbage when you're done and move on to the next holiday. Okay, so there's your little shadow box frame. Super, super cute and super easy. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this printable in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it. I'm gonna add some tape with my tape runner. Ooh, and off the edge just a little bit there and then it just slides right in here okay you set that aside for just a minute and I'm going to glue the tails onto my little bunnies If you wanted to stop it just right here and leave it with just the printable in here, it's already super, super cute and you can be done. But if you want to add a little bit more dimension to it, you can do so with um, some foam pop dots. So I just cut out my little bunnies, my little peeps, out of some matching cardstock. And I'm going to add, get my big old foam tape here. And I'm just going to add some foam tape to my bunnies. Just adds a little bit more dimension to what you're doing. So cute. And these are going to be so fun. Wouldn't this be fun on like a mantle with a whole bunch of them next to each other? Or um, on your shelf? So many ways to, to use these. Okay, then we're just going to peel all this little stuff off. Bring down my and just add the little the little peeps right there with your foam pop dots. You could even glue them right on here, but I like that it gives it that little dimension. hanging with my peeps. Isn't that fun? Just a fun little um, shadow box to put on your mantle or your tray table or whatever you want. Thanks for joining me today. Go ahead and hit subscribe down below and then you won't miss any of my tutorials. Thank you.